Michael? It's been a long time. People have been calling me that a lot lately. Maybe it's a sign. How can I help you? I need to talk to someone. I was hoping to do it under the confessional. How long has it been since your last confession? Aren't you supposed to ask me that after we started? We have started. Have a seat. Here? Why not? Confession's meant to be good for the soul, and no one's ever said anything about it having to be done in a little dark box. Please. You gave that paper an F? It deserves an A. What about the fact that you cut the entire afternoon last Tuesday? I had a doctor's appointment. You even had a note from your grandmother. That's right, I did. The problem is, Michael, your grandmother wrote me a note yesterday thanking me for letting her book club use the library. And those two signatures, they don't look the same at all. Hey, well, if you're so sure I did this, then why are you only giving me an F and not suspending me? Because I don't think it was coincidence that you chose to cut class on parent-teacher conference day. That had nothing to do with it. Mike, your grandmother told me about the books you threw out. Every parent in the world is obsessed with their kid cleaning their room. I actually do it, and the two of you make a federal case out of it. You didn't throw out those books to clean. You did it because you saw those kids out there with their parents, and you just couldn't deal with that pain. So you cut class, you went home, and you threw away the books. You don't know what I did. What I do know is that your parents came here every Sunday and donated money to pay for that uniform because they wanted you to be here getting an education and not cutting class. I've gotten a perfect grade on every assignment I've ever gotten. Right? And I don't need to go to your stupid class to do it. I could have suspended you, and that would have been much worse than an F. But you're getting one or you're getting the other. So why don't you take one night off from blaming me, and you decide what it is that you're going to do. So other people know about you. Not everyone knows everything, but people know that I don't have a law degree. You say that as though it were just a technicality. And you say that as if you're judging me. Isn't that what you came here for? I came here for advice. You said you came here to confess. But it, it doesn't matter, because if, if you're looking for absolution, I can't give it to you. Why not? Because absolution requires contrition. And I'm not hearing that you even think you've done anything wrong. Because using my brain to help people isn't doing anything. You're not using your brain to help people. You're using it to fool people, and you want me to tell you that you're a good person for I it. am a good person. You're a person that wants to have their cake and eat it too. And I'm afraid that I'm all out of cake with you. What is that supposed to mean? It means that I've often wondered whether or not I did the right thing by not having you arrested that day. That would have completely screwed up my life. Oh, and look at how not screwed up it is right now. You want to know what kind of man I am? You see me, Father? Yes, I did. I was hoping you could explain why we're missing $936 from the collection box. I can't. Well, that's odd, because this box was in my desk. And I also found this on my desk. Michael, the next time you want to send a message, just leave me a note. The uniform's not a message. I'm just returning it. You said I had two options, get an F or get suspended, but I thought of a third. So you're dropping out? No, I'm going to public school. And I'm not saying that I took that cash, but if I did, I'd be smart enough to do the math. My parents put $3 in the collection plate every week. $3 a week for 52 weeks for six years. $936. And I would have thought that belonged to my parents. And I would have just been taking it back. You know, I could have you arrested. Then do it. Michael, we both know how smart you are. But there's a difference between intelligence and wisdom. And if you don't figure that out eventually, you're going to have a lot bigger problems than an F. Because you can't outsmart God. I know. I know you don't believe in God. So let's just call them consequences. Goodbye, Father. You want to call the police? You know where to find me. Wouldn't be the first time they came to give Grammy some bad news. You never spent it. Not a penny.
I knew this was a mistake. I never should have come here. Michael, you didn't actually have to come here. I already knew your story. Trevor came to see me six months ago. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, but you didn't know that he spent most of that time talking about you or the fact that he blames himself for everything that happened well, to you. Well, maybe he should. Maybe you should blame yourself. Right, maybe I should blame myself for every earthquake or every war. That's enough of the vanity, okay, Michael? Vanity? Yeah, vanity, self-indulgence. Whatever you want to call feeling sorry for yourself ever since that night. How dare because you? Because that's exactly why you're in this position right No, now. I'm in this position because Trevor put me no, in Michael, this position. No, Michael, no. That's the difference between you and Trevor. He's actually accepted that his choices were his own, which means he actually wants to change his life. And you think I don't want to change? Why the hell do you think I'm here? I don't know. Why are you here? I told you, I want advice. No, no, people do not need the protection of the confessional to get advice. I did that to protect you. No, you did that to protect you. So you tell me right now, why are you here? It's not that simple. It is that simple. No, I can't. Why are you here? Because I'm afraid! What are you afraid of, Michael? They left me all alone. And now you've found someone who loves you. And if you stop being who you are, you're afraid she'll abandon you too. What am I gonna do, Father? Come with me, Michael. I wanna show you something. spent a lot of time here. You remember this place? I remember everything. I know you do, Michael. I was always aware of what a special child you were. Hasn't changed a bit. Hasn't it? What are you talking about? Michael, I think you came to see me because when people are in crisis, they're searching for something more, usually something they've lost. I lost my parents, and I'm not getting them back. No, Michael, you lost your faith. The day after you left school, she gave me the money back. Her only request was that we use some of it to buy this bookcase to keep these books together. They're my father's books. And your mother's. I never knew why she did it. Now I do. <laughs> Michael, if you're worried about Rachel leaving you, no. if you stop doing what you're doing, I don't think she will. How do you know? Because I have faith. 